Hi guys, welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. You join me at the PGA National Golf Academy at the Belfry again today. We're in the Titleist Fitting Centre and we're going to do a video on pitching and we're looking at angle of attack uh, in order to give you the best contact and the most the biggest margin for error on your pitch shots. We're going to talk about a pitch shots which are around about 20 to 30 yards, so nothing that's you know, not distance wedges, not these 80, 90 yard shots, but just pitches that you might want to play from 20, 30, maybe 35 yards. Now, the one aspect that we're going to talk about today is angle of attack. Uh, and angle of attack is really important uh, in order for you to get the right flight, spin, strike, uh, and consistency in those pitch shots. We'll often see that the poorer pitchers have the most inconsistent angle of attack or have the, the incorrect angle of attack. We'll often see too many golfers with too steep an approach to the golf ball, uh, which generally means that the club's going to make too much of a, a contact with the ground, the interaction is going to be too much, and those golfers are going to struggle with all those things we mentioned, the flight, the strike, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So why do we see the, this pattern? Well, it's because for many, many years, golfers have been told that the best way to spin the ball is to put the hands forward and the ball back and to hit down. Okay, we now know that's incorrect. It's not going to give you the most spin. Uh, it's probably going to give you less spin. It's probably going to give you a poorer flight, and you're going to have to be absolutely spot on with your strike to get that ball to go where you want it to. What we'd actually like to have is a golf club which is approaching much, much uh, shallower. So it's coming from lower to the ground here. It's making less contact with the ground, but it still is making contact with the ground. And we're not going to get too much sort of divot pattern after we've hit these types of shots. There'll be a marking on the ground to suggest that you've made contact with the ground, but certainly no divots that you're going to need to ask your friends to help you bring back. So how are we going to do this? Well, what I've got here is I've got a very simple setup here, which I want you to do at home. I've got an empty uh, golf ball box there. That's uh, just an empty box of golf balls. That, and we're just going to place that three lengths away from the golf ball. So if I just show you how I've set that up, so that's one length, two, three, and then we're just going to turn it this way here. So it's about three lengths away from that golf ball. And what I want you to try and do is take your starting position and just hit a couple of pitches that go about 20 to 30 yards. Okay. So I'm just going to hit a couple for you here. I'm just going to take my normal setup. And I'm just going to pitch this ball, say about 20 or 30 yards. Okay, that was quite nice. And I'm just going to do another one. Same feeling. Take my setup. Okay, so two pretty good pitch shots there. Second one went a little bit further, uh, but both pretty good strikes, flights, and I was pretty happy with those. So obviously what you've seen there is two pitch shots, the golf ball box is still there, okay? And that's really, really important. That tells me what I need to know. That tells me the angle of attack was about right for that shot. It's not particularly technical. It's not a track man. It's not going to give you exactly what the degree was, but it gives you an idea that you're about good with your angle of attack. If I was to take that out onto the golf course on turf, I'm going to hopefully find that I get the right interaction with the ground. Let me show you what we don't want. Now... You probably can guess what's going to happen here, and I'm probably going to do this once because I don't want to get this uh, golf ball box. If I take my setup, like we see lots of golfers do, ball back, hands forward, and we see a little bit of tilt across the shoulders, we see a little bit too much bend away from the target, and we start to hit our pitch shots from here. Okay, you can see I've hit the golf ball box quite clearly. That's gone almost as far as the golf ball. So because I had my hands forward and I was picking the club up, I was trying to deliver it too much down which meant that the club came down, it would have made contact with the ground, but it was in contact with the ground for far too long, made contact with the golf ball box, and obviously that gives me the feedback that I need that that wasn't particularly correct. So if you are the kind of golfer who, who takes this test and you hit that golf ball box, try it without the golf ball first. Take your setup. Try and get a lot more neutral. Maybe play the ball a little bit more forward. Try and get the shoulders a bit more level and the spine a bit more neutral. Handle in line and just play some nice shots where you use the bounce and the sole of the golf club and you work that club more, uh, sorry, level with the ground and working up over that empty box. That's going to give you much better consistency in those shots. It's going to give you much better control over the flight. It'll give you more spin and you'll definitely pitch the ball better this way. Okay, so it's quite a simple drill. It doesn't take too much to set up. It's going to give you some good feedback, instant feedback, and you can take that feedback, make some changes. Uh, and if you see a different result in, in the test, that gives you the confidence that you've made some better changes to your pitching motion. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Post any comments down below. Uh, I'll do my best to respond to them, and we'll see you again soon.